Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Ivan Blaska is here, a certified exercise physiologist and personal trainer. What I'd like to discuss today is the BMAL1 gene. It's a, it's a circadian clock gene that in this video I'm going to talk about its importance in particular to why breakfast is very important. Um, and I've mentioned this in pr prior videos. Now how do I get ripped, right, and shredded while um, eating breakfast? Well, I, there's a science to what I do. There's benefits to fed training, but guess what? You're gonna hear this first in this video, right? You can actually skip breakfast, but not eliminate it. I call it, I call it delayed breakfast or postponed breakfast. Now, what I'll do is I'll do fasted training and then I'll have breakfast afterward. However, studies have shown this and personal experiences revealed that we can actually create an, a, a temporary glucose intolerance after training and we have breakfast, okay? So if you train fasted, you're going to pretty much um, double up your you know, fatty acid accumulation from obviously breaking down fat and burning a lot of the fat, but you're still going to have a lot of fat in the circulation. So when we add breakfast to this, if there's a lot of carbs in the breakfast, we may have some insulin resistance and glucose intolerance to our ability to metabolize uh, a carbohydrate-rich breakfast effectively. Now, not everyone will have this issue, okay? So, uh, but for those who may have the issue, have a glucose spike, right, which studies have shown is pro-inflammatory. Um, one of the ways that I've learned how to uh, pretty much eliminate this issue is having a lower carbohydrate breakfast. So what this does is, number one, we're not eliminating what's known as the second meal effect. So eating breakfast has been shown to benefit our uh, glucose regulation for the rest of the day. It's called the second meal effect. So lunch, we'll have, we'll have a lower blood sugar response than had we skipped breakfast and also for dinner. So that's awesome. So that's why breakfast, breakfast rocks. But how we to get over this caveat hurdle of after workout, fasted workout, as I mentioned, we're gonna have a lower carb breakfast. And for me, it's usually a tofu bowl, okay? And that, that so one, I'm optimizing the second meal effect, but I'm also miti mitigating the potential temporary glucose intolerance from a fasted workout. Now, this gene has been shown to be, this BMAL1 gene has been shown to be diminished or suppressed in people who skip breakfast. And that actually affects fat burning, lipid metabolism. Studies have shown that suppression of this gene affects our ability to burn fat effectively. Now, there are some people who can skip breakfast. I know there's like the saying, like you can, you know, there's, there's more than one way to achieve a goal, right? Well, you can have two people who are ripped, one who is ripped and they have higher levels of inflammation and another person who's ripped who has lower levels of inflammation. Inflammation is not something you can see in a person's abs, okay? That's something that needs to be tested, um, you know, physiologically through, 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 through laboratory tests. So again, uh, don't skip breakfast. If you wanna do fasted cardio, depending on your metabolic uh, capacity and flexibility, you, you may be okay having a regular breakfast, or if, if not, then having a lower carb breakfast. So in closing, guys, the main benefits of breakfast, whether it be before a workout or after a workout, is number one, it's gonna ensure the second meal effect, and number two, it's gonna also ensure that we have a healthy level and expression of the BMAL1 gene, which is involved in optimal fat burning as well as optimal blood sugar regulation. So please be sure to check out the video, uh, the studies in the video description below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, tune in next time.